Hi everybody, my name is Renee Body and Mind Strong and I'm coming to you today to talk a little bit about what's causing your weight gain and how to overcome that to lose the weight you want to lose. Um, I hope you guys can hear me all right. I am outside in this gorgeous scenery right now. I love Ponderosa Pines and it is a little bit breezy. So hopefully you guys can hear me over that noise, but I love the noise of wind through Ponderosa Pines. It's just, it's one of my favorite sounds. But we just got done with a hike, Harley, Ray and I, and she's down here on a leash. So hopefully she doesn't pull too much. I'm surprised she still has some energy left in her after this hike. But um, we just got done. We're waiting for my partner to get off this mountain and that I just jump on really quick and kind of talk about something that I've talked to a client recently about. And that's about, you know, trying to figure out your habits and your behaviors that led to your weight gain to begin with. Um, when I talk to people about weight loss and fat loss, their, their focus is on diet and exercise. That's it. And especially exercise. They want to keep exercising. They don't think too much about diet, just a little bit. But those are the only two things. Yes, you do need those two things to lose fat, you know, to get your body back into shape. However, you have to think about the other behaviors and habits you had that led to the weight gain. Otherwise, your fat loss journey is going to be a huge struggle and your chances of you keeping that weight off is going to be very slim if you don't figure out what was causing the weight gain to begin with. Um, a great analogy of this is let's say you have a headache from hitting your head against the wall. You go take an ibuprofen or a Tylenol to take care of that headache and it does but you keep hitting your head against the wall and the headache keeps returning. Well the diet is your Tylenol and ibuprofen. Your habits and behavior that led to the weight gain is you hitting your head against the wall. So if you are in the middle of the journey or just wanting to start in the beginning and you want to lose some fat, you want to get healthy, you want to get back into shape, I need you to take your journal out. I talk a lot about journaling, um, but there's going to be a different, I'll have a different video on that. But take your journal out. I want you to write in it some and think back, explore it a little bit, and think about what are some of the habits and the behaviors that you had that led to that weight gain. Because I guarantee those habits and behaviors are probably still there. They're still around you right now, and they're the ones that you need those, they are the hurdles you need to jump over to get a healthier life, to create that healthier life for yourself. So grab your journal. I want you to start brainstorming, start thinking about, and start listing those things down because once you know what those are, you're going to be able to handle those better. You're going to be able to see them coming. You're going to be able to find other things you can do to replace those habits and behaviors. So that's my video for today, short and sweet, to the point, and that's it. If you guys have questions, email me at bodyandmindstrong at gmail.com. I won't use your email for any kind of spam or anything like that or leave comments below. Let me know if you need me to expand on any part of that or you just have questions so forth. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to them. Click the little subscribe button below. I would totally appreciate that. And yes, the, I hope you, you guys can probably still hit. I'm just off the road just a little bit um, up in Northern Arizona in the mountains. And it's, I went to school my undergrad up here and I, I just totally love it up here and I love ponderosa pines. There are so many different types of pine trees, but ponderosa pines have my heart. Um, and they smell really good. If you guys haven't, I'm sure a lot of people are in the habit of sniffing trees, but let's just say they smell really good. Um, some of them smell like chocolate and vanilla. I'm just saying. But I guess hope you guys are having a great day and make sure you guys are doing at least one thing today that's going to get you one step closer to one of your goals. All right, peace out.